All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me. So um, Paul Stanley is apologizing for something uh, that is uh, hard to apologize for because uh, if you're going to go and watch a documentary that's already been made and you can watch it over and over again and the stuff that he said is in that documentary, unless you're going to do an edit and take that out and redo the documentary, then the apology is kind of a moot thing, right? Because, well, anyway, let me explain what happened. Uh, Bob Ezrin, who produced the album Destroyer for Kiss, uh, was described as a functioning addict by Paul Stanley in this new documentary, which is called Kistory. It chronicles the band's five decades in the business, features archival, and in some cases, previously unreleased footage. Sounds kind of like an innocuous uh, production just showing the history of Kiss. So calling Ezrin a functioning addict during the making of Destroyer is a little bit of a gratuitous and probably uh, unnecessary shot at Ezrin, who is one of the great producers of all time. Alice Cooper, Pink Floyd, uh, recently doing stellar work with Deep Purple. I wish some people would go out and buy those Deep Purple albums, the last two or three of them, because they've been outstanding. And Bob Ezrin is part of the reason why. Uh, the new interviews with Stanley that's Paul Stanley, and Gene Simmons uh, will, I guess, enlighten some fans of this band that haven't already heard this story. But Paul Stanley, sort of after the fact, goes to Twitter and he says, words hurt. In our documentary, I spoke of my dear friend Bob Ezrin as a functioning addict while we made Destroyer. Okay, if he's your dear friend, then why during this? These are new interviews. This isn't something that Paul Stanley did 20 years ago. New, it says extensive new interviews with Stanley and Simmons. So why would you volunteer that information if Ezrin is a dear friend? Also, you probably could have chosen less disparaging language when describing Ezrin during the Destroyer period that might have been a way, uh, you know, to, to kind of smooth it over a little bit. Maybe you could have even asked Bob, hey, I'm going to do this interview. Are you cool with me being truthful about the destroyer period? So uh, Stanley goes on to say, the impact of that word was lost on me. <laughs> was lost on you? See, I hate these backpedal apologies because most of the time, they don't sound sincere. They sound like a publicist came along and said, hey, uh, let me help you write this apology. You know, let me um, help you with this so it will sound sincere and it will keep us from maybe uh, being involved in a lawsuit. The problem is this is in the biography. It's, again, it's staying in there. I, I, there's no plans here. There's, there's nothing in the article which would... Uh, lead me to believe that they're going to do an edit on the history uh, documentary, which is four hours long, also includes Dave Grohl, Tom Morello, manager Doc McGee, and Ezrin is actually in the documentary. So <laughs> it's just, I don't know, Bob might be feeling like maybe he should have not been a part of this, but he is Paul Stanley's dear friend. And what do you do with dear friends, Paul? Well, you throw them under the bus because it makes for good television. And Kiss is about the show, the production value. It's less about, these days anyway, it's less about the music and more about, you know, just being this marketing team, you know, which Stanley and uh, Simmons are. Uh, unfortunately, uh, what will be lost on some of the viewers who do, don't see my video or don't read these articles is that Bob Ezrin is a genius producer and, uh, should be lauded for his work. Uh, I'm assuming he's not a functioning addict anymore. So even if he was a functioning addict, I really could care less at this point, so long as he's not one now and he's not messing up anybody's uh, career. Uh, Ezrin, just a great producer and somebody who quite honestly um, should be lauded for his work and uh, 
So that's it. That's my video. In any event, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. And a uh, dollar a month over on Patreon. We've had some good conversations recently about new albums by Styx and Dennis DeYoung. And I've shared a few uh, new songs with folks that they may not have heard from artists that they know and love. And uh, I do that frequently. Plus, there are a couple of homemade musical perks on the site that you can peruse and uh, get permission to listen to. Not that it's anything that special, but in any event, uh, that's what I do from time to time. And I appreciate all of the folks who continue to support the work of this channel. See you all soon.